What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Casey, this is my Jeep, and today, well, it is a beautiful sunny day here on Vancouver Island, and we're going off-roading. Big uh, cougar paws on our track that we're about to run down. Uh, looks like my uh, front window is finally cracking from a small rock that I had hit on the edge of it a little while ago. So it's not bad. I've had the Jeep for three years and haven't replaced the window yet. <laughs> that is some nasty smelling water. video never really does a good job at just showing how off camera some of these uh, corners are. <laughs> As you see, Mike has uh, a little bit of three wheel action going on. A little skinny pedal won't fix. Right. <laughs> Our turn to go down. Just gonna line up to this hill that Eric was going down. Whee! <laughs> you get really high on the line and let it pull you over. Yeah, and then it just let you, yeah, you'll fall in once you pass the tree. You good? Woo! Look at that! Here, Chris! <laughs> you got a lot, lots of angle to go. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it too. <laughs> it's not even a 45 yet. <laughs> Folks, it is really warm out. It's probably close to 20 degrees today. Got the hoodie off now. It was supposed to be rainy this weekend. The bush is gonna start drying out and uh, then it's gonna be fire season. I think Eric went right. Yeah. Sitting there talking away to the camera, not paying attention to uh, Eric in front of me and which way he turned. <laughs> Mud is so stinky. <laughs> Slowly drying mud, it's just percolating and brewing. It's 
smells pretty lovely. Watch this as Chris gets a little off camera unexpectedly. You never really get too used to being uh, all sideways in your Jeep. Let's go find out what happened. Now today, normally we just wheel with our JKs, but uh, you know, I don't really care who comes wheeling with us. Uh, it's all about off-roading here on the island. So we have a YJ with us, which is got some nice mods on it and a Toyota, which we're just gonna go check on right now. Mostly all I care about is you enjoy wheeling and your Jeep is kind of capable to keep up with the run that we've planned. Now, it could be a stock run and in that case, anybody can come, but Today we kind of posted a more complicated trail, um, but you know, unfortunately, things break. Oh, yeah, it's break joint. Break joint. I don't know what that is. It's, it's an 80s thing. It's, it's an 80s thing. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, like it's, like it's like a chunk of tire that goes between the. Uh, oh. It attaches the steering box to the steering shaft. All right, quick repair, and we had some lunch. Fixed the uh, Toyota steering shaft. I'm not really sure um, how to explain the issue. It's not something that uh, the Jeeps have, but uh, apparently it wasn't too hard to fix on the trail. So we're just gonna get rolling again. Quick repair on the Toyota's tire. Nothing against Toyota's, obviously. Just a uh, little bad luck he's having today, but that's okay. The group we will with really doesn't ever mind fixing a Jeep or a Jeep or any off-road rig that's with us on the trail. So we're good to go. It's up and running. That took like five minutes. Anyways, I try to get around the tree now. to get through stuff with the short wheelbase, eh? Yeah, it makes a bit of a difference. Well, I just finished taking off uh, one of my hyperlinks, the one that I had here on this side. Um, it seems like uh, this one fell off, so I actually lost one today, which is really kind of frustrating because these are a bit expensive. Leaving these on and then just unbolting the pin from the bottom and just having these on your Jeep all the time, uh, you gotta really keep an eye on them because as these flop back and forth, the pin will loosen off and uh, eventually fall out and you're going to lose your shackle. Uh. 
Oh, I wish I could uh, get a little closer for this footage, but we're on such a steep hill here. Uh, I, it's almost impossible to get out. I think Chris wants a bit of a run at this. Got a bit of a run? Bit of a run on a 45 degree incline. Gotta borrow some 37s? <laughs> Rude. I have, to, I have to blur that out. This is a family friendly channel. Kind of oh, I don't know if I can film and do this at the same time. Right, guys I think we're gonna call it for the day we've kind of I don't know where we are but we're super high in the mountains uh, didn't really break anything today which is good other than losing that hyperlink like I showed you guys uh, the YJ that was with us and the Toyota had to uh, bow out for the rest of this run the Toyota was having some clutch problems I thought this would be a great spot to uh, finish up the video close it off thanks so much for watching guys if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button if you already are thanks so much Make sure you have those notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do upload every week on Mondays. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. <laughs> I've got the peanut gallery behind me. <laughs> apparently, I'm not supposed, apparently I'm not supposed to wave my hands or something in the videos. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Should I wave my hands more or should I wave my hands less? Because uh, Chris, right here, uh, thinks I should wave them less. With that said, guys, it's been a fun day. Thanks so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Big thanks to Eric, who typically uh, helps us find our way around here, and uh, Chris and Faye, who you know as well. Uh, links to all their Instagram accounts down in the description below. Uh, these are this is my normal wheeling crew, lots of fun, and uh, without them, I'd have a heck of a time trying to wheel. <laughs>